years ago, Helen Keller was really involved more with education of the blind and development of uh, work-related activities for the blind. Nobody would have predicted how much we shaped global programs. This essential vitamin that's gonna strengthen their immune system so that they can live a longer life. A single pair of glasses can absolutely change a child's life. When I started, we only had six frames for the students to choose from. Now we have a wide array of fashionable frames that the children are excited to choose from. With the aging of the world, the number of eye diseases and resultant blindness increases exponentially. The biggest barriers to really improving vision status are the lack of manpower and of resources to address the problem. Trachoma, the cause of our co-founder's teacher, Annie Sullivan's blindness, which was endemic in every district in the country, has now been declared eliminated as a public health problem. Helen Keller's really focused on interrupting tropical diseases that create poverty. Those are the kind of victories that don't always get a lot of attention in the media, but they make such a difference in the quality of life. Helen Keller has played an important role working with government to help bring neglected tropical disease programs into uh, routine health services. Helen Keller's work is extremely important because it focuses on the basics. The basics of sound health, sound nutrition. In Nigeria, food inflation is about 25%. And the mothers that we work with, they, they tell us about how heartbreaking it is to see their children going without food. So Helen Keller has a role to play. In Nepal, we've um, not only expanded our programs, uh, diversified our programs, but also diversified our funders, uh, which means that we can reach more communities, uh, more families. Kathy has probably been the most active advocate for increased funding for global nutrition as part of a larger global health agenda. The work that she's doing on the CEO Nutrition Council, getting the attention of USAID and decision makers on the Hill on these issues. Kathy has managed to really help keep the health and nutrition sector focused on the need to scale up these things that we know work you're not just changing their lives, you're changing their whole family's lives. You're changing their parents, their siblings, their future spouse, their children and grandchildren, because it's absolutely transformative. It's that backdrop that keeps me going, that makes me think we have the tools to change the world.